Hi everyone and welcome back to another CSEC Pass Paper Question which is taken from the year January 2020. So let's begin. The first question says, list the three characteristics of a homologous series. First, one of the first characteristics of, the, of a homologous series is that they have the same functional group. Remember that functional groups are these attachments that would define the chemical properties of the compound and so forth. For example, an OH would be an example of a functional group. It could be a COOH or it could be an amine and there are others. So those are what we call functional groups they are attached to the longest carbon chain within the compound. Another characteristic is that they have the same general formula. So all members within the homologous series would have the same general formula. And another characteristic they have similar chemical properties so when they are undergoing chemical reactions pretty much the same the only the only difference is that as the carbon chain lengthen then see where the chemical reactivity decreases for example ethene this is ethene would be more reactive than let's say octene octene would have eight carbon chains so this would be octene and so as you go down or as you increase in the carbon chain, the reactivity decreases for the compounds. Part two of the question says that, says, asks you to draw the fully displayed structural formula for compound A, which has the molecular formula C3H8. So the first thing you need to do Let's write out the carbon chain, C3H8. So that's the longest carbon chain in this particular compound. And remember that carbon must always be showing four bonds. The middle carbon here is already showing two bonds, while the terminal carbons are only showing one bond. So let us fill those with hydrogen. There should be eight hydrogens in this compound in this compound one two three four five six seven eight and if you if if we take a closer look you see that each compound each carbon atom sorry is showing eight bonds each carbon atoms is showing four bonds so this is one, two, three, four right there. So this terminal carbon is bonded with three hydrogen atoms and one carbon atom. So that give a total of four bonds for this terminal carbon atom. This terminal carbon atom also, which is similar to this one, showing four bond one between the carbon to carbon atom here and it is bonded with three hydrogen atoms the middle carbon atom is bonded with two carbon atom atoms and two hydrogen atoms so each carbon atom within this molecule is showing four bonds 
Part 2. State the homologous series to which compound A belongs. Compound A is a carbon to carbon single bond and there are no functional groups present in the compound. So this homologous series is an alkane. Specifically, propane. Propane. Prop, which means that there are three carbon atoms, and the ane, which, which indicates to us that hey, I belong to the alkane because it has the parent name ane. So that's propane. Part three. Write the molecular formula for the compound, which has five carbon atoms of the homologous series stated in part B. Five carbon atoms. Generally speaking, for alkanes, they have the they have the general formula CnH2n plus two, and in this case, n is five. When n is five, substitute for n bracket 5 plus 2 so this compound is C5 H 2 5 10 plus 2 that's 12 so this would be the general formula for a compound this would be the formula for a 5 carbon atom compound and the name would be pentane Now, moving on to the next part of the question. Draw the fully displayed structural formula for compound B, which has the molecular formula C3H6. Drawing the structure. If we were to fill out these with hydrogen, all of these carbon atom bonding to hydrogen atoms, it would be C3H8. Comparing this to what we just drew earlier, we realize that it is two hydrogen short. So that means a double bond is in the compound. So we can fill out those with hydrogens now. One, two, three, four, five. Six. So that's the, the, the formula for compound B. The structural formula for compound B that has the molecular formula C3H6. State the homologous series to which compound B belongs. Based on the double bond in the compound, right off the bat we know that this is an alkene. Specifically, it is propene. Part 3, write the molecular formula for the compound which has five carbon atoms of the homologous series stated in C, part 2. We know, it's a, we know it's an alkene, and alkene has the general formula of CnH2n, and we can see that the, the ratio for hydrogen to carbon is 2 to 1. And it should be a 5 carbon atom compound, N equal 5. So substituting for N, C5, H, 2N, which gave us C5, H2N where n equal to 5 and that give us C5 H10 specifically this compound is pent T the in which indicate the homologous series that it belongs and the pent from pentagon which is a side five-sided figure so it's five carbons tell us how many carbon present in the compound so it's pent the next question 
For each of the following homologous series, write the general formula for the carboxylic acid and alcohol. For carboxylic acid, we know that this is the carboxylic acid group. And one of, one of the ways we can talk about functional group is that they are split in two. You have the functional group and you have the, the hydrocarbon section. So the hydrocarbon section would be CN H2N plus this particular instance one hydrogen was replaced with a carboxylic group so the general formula would be CN H2N plus 1 COOH remember alkane of the formula CN H2N plus 2 right and if one hydrogen was replaced with a carboxylic group that means the formula has to be CNH2N plus 1 COOH similarly for the alcohol OH and you write the hydrocarbon part of the group which is CNH2N plus 1 so that's the acid and that's the alcohol part 2 want us to name to give the name of the first member for the carboxylic acid and for the alcohol. The first member of the carboxylic acid would be methanol, sorry, methanoic acid. Methanoic acid. Remember when naming carboxylic acid, always add the oic acid to to the number to the chain to the carbon chain length so if it's one carbon chain length long then it is methane drop the e and add oic acid so it gives methanoic acid and similarly for the alcohol it's methanol methanol o l So those are the first two members of the carboxylic acid and the alcohol group respectively. We'll stop here for today. I hope you are studying hard and studying very smart. Thank you for watching and see you real soon.